Lawmakers moved closer to creating tougher penalties for people on parole, bail, or house arrest who cut off their ankle monitor. State senators passed a bill to make it a felony to remove or disable a tracking device. Brianna Hollis reports on why lawmakers and police say the legislation is crucial to public safety. Senate Bill 1004 makes it a crime for a person to knowingly remove or disable an ankle monitor tracking device that they're required to wear as a condition of house arrest, parole, or release on bail. According to the bill's author, State Senator Joan Huffman, more than 75,000 people in Texas are currently on some sort of parole. More than 4,000 of them have ankle monitors, and in the past year, about 1,100 monitors were tampered with. Sadly, we have seen the recent news stories of individuals who cut or disable their ankle monitors and subsequently commit violent crimes. We've covered some of those stories. We say four teenagers are involved in at least nine robberies, most of them in North Austin. In this robbery spree that ended at the domain last year, for example, police say one of the suspects cut off his ankle monitor two days after getting released from juvenile custody, less than a month before he allegedly took part in the robberies. And as we're trying to move away from incarceration, we're trying to utilize technology. But now we're finding the more we use that, the more we have people trying to foil those methods. According to the witness list for the bill, no one spoke in opposition of it, and about a dozen people either testified or went on record in favor of it. And hopefully it will send a message out to offenders that you will be held criminally accountable. Brianna Hollis, State of Texas. The Senate bill will now go to a House committee, but House members are also considering a different bill addressing ankle monitors. Democrat Rafael Anchia filed House Bill 3549 in response to a shooting at a Dallas hospital that killed two health care workers. The accused shooter is a violent criminal on parole who was wearing an ankle monitor. Police say he had previously cut off his monitor but served only 100 days in custody before being granted parole again. Like the Senate bill, and Chia's legislation would make it a felony to cut off an ankle monitor. His bill also requires someone found guilty of the crime to serve the rest of their original sentence behind bars. The bill had a hearing Tuesday. It's still pending in committee. Texas voters could decide whether to give judges more power to deny bail for people accused of violent crimes or sex crimes. Senators last week passed a proposed amendment to the Texas Constitution. It is a tool in the most extreme cases when individuals have shown that they need to be away from the public while they are awaiting their trial. The amendment would give judges broader ability to deny bail if they determine doing so would risk the safety of the community or the likelihood the suspect would appear in court. But opponents say judges already have that discretion and worry this will negatively affect due process rights. We fear that vastly expanding judicial power to keep people incarcerated uh, before their trial uh, while they're presumed innocent will result in many, many more people across the state of Texas being incarcerated. The measure now goes to the House. If approved, voters will have the ultimate say in a constitutional amendment election in November. Texas lawmakers this week heard testimony on a bill to require people in jail who need mental competency help to be transferred to a treatment facility within three weeks of a court order. Austin State Representative Gina Hinojosa laid out HB 479 for the House Corrections Committee. She called the wait list for a state hospital bed a crisis. This follows our investigation revealing people in some cases wait years for help. New data we've analyzed shows the wait list holding steady now at a near record high of around 2,500 people. You can find links to our mental competency investigation right now in this story in the Texas politics section of our website. State lawmakers want to end a program that lets judges block driver's license renewals over unpaid tickets, but others are pushing back. I think all that's going to do is that's going to encourage people not to come to court. The conflict playing out after our Trapped by Tickets investigation next.